Hello everybody, this is Manuel, and today I would like to share a few tips how to edit a wildlife photo in Lightroom. So I chose this bird photo mainly because there's a very low contrast between the bird and the sky, and there's a few distracting objects that I want to remove. So I'll give you the tools to do this in about five minutes. So first come first, I will look at the things that I find distracting in this photo. So I have this little branch over here, a little leaf, I have this gigantic hair coming out of the bird head and I have this leaf at the bottom. So there's a great tool here which is called the spot removing removal tool, sorry. You press on this and then basically you can just change the size of this circle, press on the object you want to remove and you can spin the wheel here, the little replacement circle to make it match the color and so forth. So this is now gone. We're going to work on this one. This is now gone. And then I'm going to zoom in. Go for that hair. I will downsize that circle to about here. And this is now gone. So anything you want to get changed, you can do it. Sometimes it won't work that great. But for this specific uh, photo here, it just worked fine. Now, the second thing I want to do is work on the bird. So what I tend to do is use a brush. And I like to sharpen the eye, the beak, or everything that have lots of details into it. Not the feathered in feathers in general or the wings or anything like that. But I like to do like the eyes. So about 20 in the sharpness I find works great for me. So I like to do the beak eyes. If you want to zoom out while you zoom in like this, hold the space bar and just click. And then do the same thing if I zoom back in. And then I will do the same thing with these legs. Sharpen these. Alright, my sharpening job is done. What I like to do with my feather now is I like to bring a little bit more contrast, a little sharpness. So a great tool to do that is the clarity tool. So I'm going to bring my sharpness back to zero and I'm going to bring my clarity to maybe 25. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on these wings. So see now it got a little bit more contrasty, got a little darker. Here it is. So if you look at our bird, the before and the after, you can tell here it's a little darker. We get a little bit more uh, detail and it looks a little better. Now, what I'll try to do here is play with the blue in my sky and make it a little bit more contrasty so it actually look a little bit better. So we're going to go to the color panel, HSL, Hue, Saturation, Luminance. You're going to choose this. You're going to go to your luminance first blue for the sky and we're going to darken this a bit. So if you go too far it won't look good but choose a level to which it looks alright. So about minus 33. Saturation. Same slider with the blue. We're going to bring it a little bit more saturation to it to maybe somewhere around there. And then once we feel we're happy with this again let's look at the before and the after. Now you can tell there's so much more contrast between the bird than before. Now I will go down to lens correction. If you go to color there is remove ch chromatic aberration. I always do this so if there was like some weird purple line that appeared because we did contrast between the bird and the sky now it should be corrected. And then the last thing I will do is I will crop this photo. If you hold one of the corner and hold the shift key while you drag your photo in, you will keep the ratio of your picture. And then, uh, let's say I want to do a rule of third here. So we'll bring the bird in the first third of the picture. Press done. And maybe it's a little bit too much to the edge over there. So we will maybe go just like that. Here it is. And if I feel like I want a little vignette in there, that could be kind of nice to draw the eye towards the bird a little bit. I can just add a little bit of a vignette in there that darken the sky even a little bit more and add a little bit more contrast. So here it is, the before and the after. So to resume here, uh, what we've done is very simple. We 
use brushes so we add up some uh, some sharpness to the beak and the eye we add some clarity to the foliage of this bird and the wings we change the actual on enhance I would say the actual color of the sky with the saturation and the luminance we got rid of those distracting leaves and so forth with the spot removal tool and then we got rid of the chromatic aberration with the lens correction and recrop the photo and here it is I am pleased with this photo a few quick steps that you can apply to a lot of different wildlife images so if you have any question, any comments, anything else you would like me to create, feel free to leave comments. And thanks again for watching. Bye.